Can you talk about big punches? And this is the left hook. And I saw yesterday at the media workout, you were mocking it a little bit. Uh, do you mock it because you think that's not going to land on you, or do you still have to respect it and prepare for, for that kind of punch that you can deliver? You, I mock it because it's there to be mocked, okay? <laughs> that's why I mock it. Y'all mock it. Y'all talk about it. Why can't the champ talk about it, right? I got people on my on YouTube videos, their comments say, I root for you, champ. Watch out for that no-look hook, you know? Throughout, throughout all camp, there's comments about, watch out for that no-look hook. The, the funny thing is, is he actually um, throws a no-look hook. Like, there's a lot of boxing techniques that people and spectators don't know why it's an actual boxing technique, right? One of the most commonly confused boxing techniques is the shoulder roll. What is a shoulder roll? Why is the shoulder roll utilized? A lot of young kids want to do it. They want to look pretty like Floyd and stuff. But Floyd mastered it. It's a technique he mastered. He utilized it and he knew what he was doing with it. The shoulder roll has one purpose. To take away from the right hand. Okay? Because the overhand right comes, comes at your chin and Floyd leans back, which raises the shoulder above your chin. Okay? And he rolls with it and then he pops a counter that's an arm punch, but as long as he lands a right hand, it's gonna be scored by the judges as a power blow. Any blow that is not a jab is a power blow, okay? So he can roll with it, he can throw the uppercut if you start to smother, if there's distance, he can pop you like this, all right? Mm -hmm. And I, under, I started to understand the technique, and I told people when he fought Robert Guerrero, who's a southpaw, he will not do the shoulder roll. I'll put money on it. There's no reason to utilize that technique. He's going to box with both hands up. Reason being is because now you're facing a southpaw. That right hand is not a right hand no more. That right hand is a jab. It's a, it, it doesn't hold the same weight. It is not threatening. There's no need for the shoulder roll technique. You can go back and most likely you'll never see the shoulder roll or you'll be able to count it on one hand because it's not a necessary technique against southpaws, okay? So the no-look hook, the thing is you, you feel like, all right, he's not looking, but that's because he doesn't need to look. Why does he not need to look? Because the one thing that Danny likes to do outside of just trade it's the way he trades. He will let his opponents attack first, he attacks second. When Amir Khan got caught by that left hook, he landed a right hand. But his power is not the same as Danny's. Thus, it did not knock Danny off balance, okay? And Danny being so flat-footed, some talk about that six toe, who really knows, okay? But he's very well grounded, okay? When he's well grounded and he knows that you're now going to put hands on him, the theory is if you can touch me, I should be able to touch you. Another thing is fighters know I don't have to look at your face. I can look at your chest, I can look at your feet and I'll understand the, dif the, the distance of which we are fighting at, how close you are to me. So the no look hook is, a, is actually a technique of tucking the chin as far as he can down and committing to the trade, okay? so. And, and he, he actually will do it from both sides. Now, I mean, that's where it becomes a very sneaky move. Maybe a veteran taught it to him. Maybe his father taught it to him. Maybe it's just something he got accustomed to and he's attached to, just like how fighters have favorite techniques, favorite punches, yada, yada, yada. It doesn't matter, man. I, I've been telling myself in preparation for it, well, if he looks down, I'm getting the fuck out of the way, okay? <laughs> this motherfucker, if, he, if, he, if, he, if he looks down, I'll just get the fuck out of the way, you know? But, I mean, this is boxing, man. I look forward to this fight. I requested this fight. I, I, I talked about long time ago getting a title and then getting more than one title. That's what I've wanted. I, I've told you this many times that I want as many titles as I can get because I want to prove that I am the best. You either are the best or you are not the best. But it's fights like this Saturday night where you get to test yourself, challenge yourself, and find out.